I seem to have stumbled onto something very weird and troubling here on YouTube and I kind of just want to make a quick video about it. So recently, I've been getting this Simpsons future episode video recommended to me aggressively. And you know me, I'm definitely a whore for some of that good old fashioned Simpsons content, so I gave it a click, thinking I'm going to be watching an episode analysis video. But what I never expected was that clicking on the video led to me discovering a rabbit hole of borderline stolen content that seems to be spreading across YouTube like a virus. See that Simpsons video and every single video on all of these channels is a little bit different from your typical adult cartoon YouTube channel. For starters, they're identical. And I don't just mean that they have identical thumbnails, I mean they literally have identical videos, like right down to the narration style and the way they're edited. These are the times Homer Simpson definitely deserved to go to jail. Starting with the episode Homer vs. Lisa and- Okay, now look at this. These are 10 episodes where Peter Griffin deserved to go to jail. Starting at number 10 with an episode titled- Now look, there are tons of great channels who make videos about adult cartoons, and they generally all do a good job of providing their own takes and ideas so that the videos are adding something to the experience that you can't just get from watching the show. In other words, they're transformative. But these channels are a little bit different, because their videos don't really provide anything unique to the episodes, they just are the episodes, in short form. After Stewie comes home from a birthday party, Brian mocks the baby for being short. Obviously, Stewie is never gonna let Brian get away with roasting him and uses his scientific genius plus the help of his latest gadget. These videos are almost full replacements for the episodes themselves. They're not quite there, it's not just back-to-back -back clips, but they are direct summaries that go scene by scene through each episode, describing the dialogue, jokes, and even occasionally cutting to clips. But the worm, in her mind, starts pleading. Lisa. What did I ever do to you? What these channels are doing is pretty much the bare minimum of qualifying as original content. I mean, they'll add little remarks here and there to make it sound like they're providing analysis, but really about 90% of what you're getting is just retellings of existing content. And that's not just a number that I made up. I actually sat through the videos and counted how much time was spent recapping episodes, and some episodes were 97% recap and 3% original commentary. And that's me being generous, because half of the original commentary commentary was them saying stuff like this. Thou shalt not steal. I promise this will be relevant later. I promise this will be relevant later, guys, because that's how the f episode was written. The sad reality here is that these channels are just taking everything from the writers of The Simpsons, South Park, Family Guy, or whatever, and repackaging it for their own profit. Which, by the way, they're making a f ton of. I mean, look at these numbers. Hundreds of thousands of views on multiple videos after only uploading their first video just a few weeks earlier. That's pretty impressive. Clearly, whoever's behind these channels really knows their way around the YouTube algorithm. Yes, the definitely real humans that are making these videos who are totally not just a content farm or something. I mean, I don't know. I guess it could be real people that are all doing the exact same thing across multiple channels whose voices suddenly change midway through their uploads. Starting at number six with an episode called Casa Bonita. These are the 10 most wholesome South Park episodes ever. Or, you know, it's just some company using actors or AI voiceovers in episode summaries. That makes a grown man want to cry. That's how you make a grown man cry. Hmm, that's weird. This one says it's all about gardening. It's almost like they forgot to update the description after they decided to spam it with borderline stolen AI content. But wait, guys, look. These comments on their page say that it's high quality content. They deserve more subscribers. I guess I was wrong. Maybe these videos aren't just meant for people who want to watch Family Guy but don't want to pay for a Disney Plus subscription. Oh, sorry, what's that? A little closer? You have the phrase full Family Guy episodes in your description twice. I'm sure that's for unrelated reasons and definitely not because you want to get views from people who are searching full Family Guy episodes because they want to watch them for free on YouTube. But here's where it gets weird. After I started noticing these thumbnails in my YouTube recommendations, I got into the habit of investigating the channels whenever they popped up on my feed. And what I noticed is that ever since these content mills started popping up, other channels from the adult cartoon space have started to adopt similar characteristics. Sometimes they'll just use the same thumbnails, but other times they'll use the same editing style in script format too. These are 10 episodes where Randy Marsh deserved to go to jail. These are 10 episodes where Eric Cartman deserved to go to jail. These are the times Homer Simpson definitely deserved to go to jail. It's so bizarre because they start off as normal channels, but then they just 
convert to this somewhere down the line. Now, I'm pretty sure that these guys aren't being bought out by content factories or something. I think that they're just trying to imitate the rapid success that the actual content factory channels have been getting. But still, I find it concerning because it means that we're starting to see a serious push towards lazy content that is indistinguishable from AI. Though I will say, these imitation channels are significantly better about adding something original to their videos than the content factory ones. So at least they're not just blatantly stealing the hard work of actual talent writers, though I do think that they're still leaning in that direction. Now my issue here is that we're seeing this overall shift in content styles that seems to favor plagiarism over originality. People are getting rich off of repackaging TV show episodes, which only encourages other YouTubers to follow suit. And the idea of opening YouTube one day in the future and seeing nothing but a bunch of white thumbnails that lead to episode recaps is very bleak to me, especially when we have far better channels to be modeling ourselves after. There are so many great channels in this space that make thoughtful and interesting videos, Johnny Two Cellos, LS Mark, Blooms, Lydia Loves Timelines, these guys are all working hard to provide you original content that elevates the viewer experience. But on the other hand, these robotic clone channels that are barely skirting the lines of copyright infringement, they're doing the exact opposite. They're lowering the bar in order to maximize profit while being as lazy and mass producible as possible. And trust me, I get it. I'm a lazy asshole that wants to be rich. Hell, I've even made an entire video that's literally about that exact topic. But goddamn, dude, I wouldn't want to do it like this. This just feels like it's intentionally blurring the lines of what is and isn't ethical when it comes to covering TV shows on YouTube. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a hater because they're more successful than I am. Maybe other people won't care about this as much as I do. But fine, if that's the case, then so be it. Because even if my videos can't keep up with all the content farms out there, and even if people think that my videos are steaming piles of sh at the end of the day, at least I can say, those are my steaming piles of sh and nobody else's.